Alberta Health Services has revealed troubling details about a kitchen shared by a number of daycares in Calgary. An inspection found three critical violations related to food handling and pest control. And the number of cases of E. coli related to Calgary daycares keeps rising. There are now 264 lab-confirmed cases. 25 children are in hospital. 22 of them have developed a serious blood and kidney condition. Sarah often on the health violations and how parents are reacting. What are they researching? It's been a slow, difficult recovery for this Calgary boy, sick with a severe E. coli infection for the last week and a half. He's really weak, and four-year-olds, when they're sick, are cranky. He went into the hospital Saturday, September 2nd. By 11 a.m. Sunday, doctors told them the first of many tests was positive for E. coli. The first communication from his daycare came Sunday night, with a warning from health officials about a gastrointestinal illness. But it wasn't until the Monday that health officials called it an E. coli outbreak. You're not naming a specific bacteria that has specific implications. Provincial health officials speaking publicly for the first time since the outbreak. We didn't feel that there was urgency to do that up until this point. Alberta Health Services releasing its latest health inspections report following the closure of the central kitchen believed to be the source. It lists five new violations, three of which are deemed critical, including ineffective sanitation equipment, cold foods being transported to other locations in excess of 90 minutes without temperature control and significant evidence of pest infestation, including more than 20 dead or alive cockroaches around the dishwashing area. While almost a dozen food samples have been tested, the cause of the outbreak is still unknown. Sarah McDonald's boy and 21 others have been diagnosed with a serious blood and kidney condition. The family is still unclear if there will be long-term consequences for their son, as it calls for the central kitchen to face consequences of its own. The inspections are first and foremost an educational opportunity. An education the kitchen could have learned from after remediating previous violations and a response that's not sitting well with parents, now part of a class action lawsuit. Food safety should not be an educational experience for the people working there at the expense of my child. I'll be making my kids food from now on. Sarah Offen, Global News, Calgary.